Hello, you all beautiful people. It's Rad. Welcome to uh, my channel. Welcome to Rad Kutara. And uh, I'm back from the long break. Almost all month have passed. Many things happened to me. Um, most of them are really good, really beautiful things. Um, and uh, I am ready to resume the uh, weekly tarot guidance or the weekly predictions for the star signs. So with that being said, in this whole video, we are going to look into what Aries are going to go through into the uh, week of November 30th to December 6th, 2020. So let me uh, shuffle the cards and uh, we are going to move forward with, uh, with the reading. So should you uh, wish to, pu to purchase a, a personal reading, you can go to my website. You're going to find it in the description down below. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well, their pricing. And uh, if you enjoy the way I, I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way because you don't have to be psychic or, psychic or, or have a gift to do it, uh, you can go for one of the classes that I'm uh, offering. I can only recommend you to go first for the Major Arcana class, get familiar with the cards, start doing your own readings just with the Major Arcana and then um, just go for the Minor Arcana if you like to dive, deep, uh, to dive I'm sorry, a deeper into tarot. So with that being said, let's move to the, uh, to the reading straight away. And the first card that we do have for Aries, which represents the uh, general topic and, and what they're going to go through in the week itself, we do have the Temperance. Uh, moving next, this is uh, the energy that it is feeding up the situation. And we do have the Strength card and, and pretty much the, these two are in pair. Now that is what's going on and this is the fuel of it, okay? So they are always interpreted together in this particular spread. Now the third card here represents the challenges, okay? That is uh, the things that, how can I say, we are going to overcome throughout, the, or you Aries are going to overcome throughout the week. And that will be the... Um, King of a Pentacles. The fourth card uh, represents the blessings. This is the things that you can rely on, okay? And that will be the Tree of Pentacles. Moving next, it is uh, the how the others truly sees you, what you, how you are looking into the eyes of others, what impression you do make. <clears throat> and that will be the Moon card, followed by the next one, which represents uh, the um, obstacles you are going to face along the road and that will be the high priestess after that this represents the positivity what is going to help you throughout the road and that is going to be the uh, eight of eight pentacles and the last one we have that is the guidance the tarot gives you and we have the queen of pentacles in that position I, I, i'm not psychic i just saw the card because my camera has a reflection and i can see the cards pretty clearly uh, from the reflection of the camera. So we do have an eight card spread, something, uh, something new. Uh, I really enjoy that spread, practice it, practiced it quite uh, for extensive period of time. So I'm very, very familiar with it. Uh, okay, so what we do have for you guys here <clears throat> as moving forward in this particular week, those two cards here are pointing that first of all, throughout the week, you are gonna face not exactly challenges, but like uh, I would I would name them really chores, you know, things that are repetitive with time, and that under normal circumstances you would really aggravate yourself with that. You have to do the same thing over and over again. But because we do have those energies here with the strength card, uh, it, it seems that you are gonna find a way to to draw a muse. From, uh, from your life in general, not, not from your life, but from the things itself, or you're going to see those chores from entirely different perspective. And this time around is going to be so enjoyable for you to work over those chores and, and in generally to, to clear them out. It will be almost like a, 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 like a game, okay? And that will make your life so much more easier than it was a week beforehand and, and probably a month beforehand as well. <coughs> Oh my God, I got excited, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. So on top of it, uh, there, will, there will be some kind of a formation of opinion of yours, opinion that nobody will, be, uh, will have the power to sway it one way or another. And the good thing about these two cards 
it is that you are not going to feel the necessity to constantly try to prove yourself. Why do you think that way? And what are your prerequisites, you know? And I know what are your arguments as well for you are going to be convinced yourself that what you know and what you are striving for and as well in general what you believe in, it's yours to believe in and it's true for you. And on top of it, you are going to make the others respect it. They may not agree with it, they may not accept it, but they will have to respect it and you are going to make it so to happen. And lastly, with those two cards, um, it's highly unlikely that you're going to face any major difficulties throughout the week, you know, things that are to throw you off balance. Uh, because whatever happens in there, for we do have challenges, you know, we do have things that are holding you back and so on and so forth here. I'm sorry, uh, I do apologize here into the spread. Uh, life cannot be always a pleasant thing, right? But this time around with, with the first two cards, you're going to face them with such an ease that you could not even believe it, okay? So, uh, Moving next, we do have the challenges and that is a person here, which is a king of pentacles. Now, it does involve something like an investment with the king of pentacles sitting on its own here into the challenges. And to me, uh, that speaks about convincing this person because it, it could not be just a man, all right? It could be as well a woman. But to me, that speaks about that person that you would, it's not like you are going to need that person, but it's going to be so much more easier with him uh, to, to accomplish your goals. And uh, the thing is that that person has the means, okay? They may have the things you need, the things you want as well, and they can give those things to you. It's just you have to convince them into your righteousness, you know, or into the uh, proficiency of your idea, for example, if we're talking about business, or uh, to convince them in your emotions, but through actions. Because King of Pentacles, it's a very uh, misunderstood person when we're talking about person here because they are very self-absorbed that that is because they have they already have a domain and uh on their own accord they don't feel necessity to to to, to give away they give away only when they see that they can uh only they can feel that they and see that they can have a reciprocal attitude okay so you with them you you, you just have to show them that you are ready to give they don't concern how much you have okay it's just the attitude is important for them so they need to see that you are ready to give and they will start giving to you as well and it will be something like a symbiosis so that will literally is going to be the challenge here to convince this person that you are a ready to give either you know give attitude about the job give efforts about the job give love for example if we're talking about a uh, romantic relationship here but in generally the challenge here it is to throw that person outside of their domain, outside of their comfort zone, right? And show them they can still add on top of it and you have what they need, okay? That, that's like the, the deal that you have to strike with them. Uh, moving next, it is the, um, uh, what was that? Uh, that, that? That is the blessing that you are to enjoy throughout the, uh, the week and we do have the Tree of Pentacles. So it's pretty easy card to interpret in this particular uh, in this particular position. Three of Pentacles points that you are to enjoy the blessing of support, support of your friends, of your family, uh, your partner in life, uh, co-workers into your career. It's not going to be just only physical support, guys, but as well, it's going to be like a. Uh, uh, determining you in a sense of that talking telling you that you can do it even if you do doubt yourself they are always going to encourage you that was the word that i was searching for by the way they're always going to encourage you to at least try it out because if you don't try it out and if you give yourself to the fear i it's like you gave up you, you would never know can you do it or not whatever it is all right also you will enjoy um, you get to enjoy very fruitful and profound, meaningful, so meaningful conversations, you wouldn't even believe it. And uh, under normal circumstances, 
uh, they are going to be, you are going to take them very critically because they are going to be dappled with criticism. But this time around, you are going to accept that criticism and you are going to be grateful for the criticism as well, for that criticism is going to open your eyes for your potential, okay, for your possible uh, errors and mistakes that you would do under normal circumstances as well. In generally, it's going to be such a... Uh, I don't know, a fruitful cooperation, I, I can't say it other way around, that is like you face the understandings of those around you, those that are faithful to you, uh, their support, benevolent and as well unconditional, uh, it will be, uh, it will pretty much beautiful, right? So uh, it's really good week moving forward in front of you. So we move to how people are to see you moving forward and we do have the uh, moon card. For those that doesn't know you, they're going to be quite baffled uh, how you stand in general and what you want. And that could be really the reason about that King of Pentacles, okay? That they are going to be truly baffled about toward what end you really want to cooperate with them, right? Toward what end you, you strive to be with uh, this man or with this woman or toward what end you want to accomplish this endeavor. Right, so people are not going to um, kind of like wrap their mind around your presumptions and, and around your um, how can I say arguments, okay? And that is going to uh, and these gaps that they are failed to to wrap their mind around are going to be a predisposition for fantasy. So so people are going to fantasize things about you, okay? Uh, some of them are going to fantasize good things, some of, the, some of these people are going to fantasize bad things, okay? So, um, the best that you can do in this situation, um, if you do care, of course, it is to be extra elaborative, okay? Try to explain yourself in a way that a child in a third grade can understand you. If you can't explain yourself that way, then you're not doing a great job explaining yourself and just... Not, not like you're not doing a great job, but just don't bother because the, these people will still not be able to get the hang of it, okay? And for that reason, uh, if you don't feel like it, uh, and the strength card, which is the energy, kind of says that you aren't going to feel like it to constantly explain yourself, okay? Um, it's just not worth it. So don't, uh, my point here is don't be surprised if somebody asks you a, a inappropriate question because they just don't see the obvious that you do see. So moving next, it is the predicament or rather like the obstacles that you are to face throughout the week. And that is the high priestess, hu a humongously vast card. It could relate literally to pretty much anything. And it comes from the love you feel and it goes from the love you feel to the, uh, it's not stagnation, but monotony in your job. It's just, it could stretch so far away. But the um, obstacle that you are going to uh, experience or what holds you back, it is the lack of stir. Like I said, you will have a lot to do, but these are chores on a daily basis. And the lack of stir is about new things about. And this, uh, this week it is about initiating or rather like negotiating those new things about with that king of a pentacles we do have here. And uh, this uh, high priestess isn't really, um, how can I say, that big of an obstacle really. It's not something that truly holds your back that, that bad. It just that's a period. And uh, you can use the time best to analyze probably you know uh what what is it's not like what you truly want but what is going to make your soul feel good right uh, and what's moving forward is going to make you fulfilled uh on another on another side if we are looking at from the prism of love yeah that could be a uh, uh, rather obstacle or thing that holds you back to be reckoned with and that will happen only if we're talking about 
uh, unrequired love or as well a, a week that you have to devote a lot into your career but in the same time you feel like you need to be around your person or the person of interest of yours. Uh, then uh, the high priestess is going to be tough to handle because you are going to feel that necessity that you need to be in the presence of the thing or the one that you do love. Now moving next we are having that things that helps you and that is the eight of a pentacles. What helps you throughout the week is first and foremost the keen eye that you are going to have for the details and the subtleties about and around as well, round and about. With the eight of pentacles uh, you, how can I say, you you will have the uh, not just only the awareness but also the uh, astute sense to fit pieces in puzzles and it's highly likely that throughout the week you are going to truly come up with some sort of a solid plan especially if we're talking about business here how to initiate and establish that business now when that plan is going to be executed that is just a matter of time but the hard job is done you made your plan and that plan is like uh, it's applicable in every situation at all time so you just need the resources to do it and what we said you have the resources from that king of pentacles so all revolves around that person it may not be just a man it could be also a, a woman and uh, with the eight of pentacles you have to uh, what is going to help you here it is if you start thinking in the long run or for a long term moving forward so it's like a preparation like you do prepare your foundations now so you can build on top of them moving uh, moving forward um, uh, in terms of relationship this card has a slightly different meaning here and it tells you that uh, it tells speaks to those that are uh, single that should they want to be with um, with, to find somebody they all they have to do is just display themselves in front of the world okay like uh, if you are under a lockdown start engaging in um, a dating apps right or, or if there is no uh, lockdown start going out with friends uh, or with letter not, not with relatives but with companies and so on and so forth and these that are um, in a relationship there will be some kind of a um, ups and downs throughout the week it is like going through fire and water which only is going to quench the relationship and uh, yesterday I had a um, I had a reading and the client asked me what is quench quench is when you do make the soft metal into a hardened material something that is durable and can't withstand the test of time uh, and the last one it is the guidance what you got to do um, it is how I see that card this is the Queen of a Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles here tells tells us as a guidance that you do have so much more to do and so much more to uncover by yourself I don't think that you do realize your true potential within the framework that the endeavors and enterprises are gonna happen to you in this uh, in this week you, you probably are not gonna realize the full potential what you can accomplish with the resources of the king of pentacles you're not going you are not going to initially realize the full potential what you can accomplish with the support you're gonna have from others or the true potential what is gonna come up if you start engaging into dating apps and so on and so forth so it's kind of like your expectations are going to be a little bit diminished and under and uh, that only speaks that you are going to have a pleasant time because whatever happens that exceeds your expectations it just makes you feel good there is no other way to say it and another thing about the guidance here with the queen of pentacles um, I don't know how to say it in English, but put some time in yourself because the Queen of Pentacles, for her, uh, I'm talking her because it's a queen, it doesn't matter how much you have. All that matters is what you see when you look yourself in the mirror. You have to love what you see there. I'm not talking about outer look, but you gotta see a person with smile. And this is what you just do what you have to do to put a huge smile in your face. 
So uh, that being said, um, just give me a second here to gain control of my camera. Uh, that being said, uh, Aries, this was your a weekly general tarot reading for November 30th, 30th to uh, December 6, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye. bye.